Hello, welcome to the first tutorial for BlenderBasics.com, the primary website for the Blender for Dummies book. I'm Jason Van Gumster, and I'm going to be walking you through all this fun stuff. This uh, this tutorial's on modeling an eye, which you can use for all sorts of stuff, and it's part of Chapter Five. So, what we, the first thing we're going to want to do here is we want to rid ourselves of the transform manipulator because we don't really need it and it kind of gets in the way. We also don't need the cube because we're going to be starting off with a different shape. So I'm going to hit X and delete the selected object. And the object we're actually going to start with is a UV sphere. So if I hit spacebar, add mesh, UV sphere. Now, I originally had 32 and 32. Actually, I prefer to have 8. We don't need to have that many segments. So 8 segments and 8 rings is perfect for us. So if I hit OK, that's what we get. That's what our starting point is. What I want is this is going to be the front of our eye. This is where the iris and the lens and all that fun stuff is going to be. But right now it's facing up and down, up the z-axis, and I want it to face down the um, sorry, down the y-axis facing forward. So to do that, I'm first going to tab in edit mode and I'm going to turn on my back face culling here so I don't have to see those back faces. And I'm going to go into my side view by hitting 3. Now that that's there, I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees just simply by hitting R and it rotates it. And what I want to do is I want to hit Control and it locks it to specific 5, you can see down here, it locks it to 5 degree increments and I want that to be negative 90, like so. So now I have my eyeball facing forward. This is going to be the front of the eye, this is the back of the eye, and this is also going to be my lens and pupil and whatnot. Now in order to get this to work properly, I'm going to want um, my to form my iris and pupil. And a good way to do that is I want to have light reflecting more effectively. Um, through here. And a good trick for that is just to pull this inside the eye. And I can select this and if I hit G and then Y to pull it on the Y axis I can get sort of that idea. But I want to have a few more control points there. So I'm going to do a couple things. First I'm going to hit A two twice to select all. And then I'm going to set smooth. There we go. So it's all smooth. But I also want to use subdivision surfaces on this because usually the eye is going to, the character is going to be have subdivision surfaces anyway so it pays to use it. I can use uh, the keyboard short key um, control 1 but it's just as easy to go over here to add modifier subsurf and it adds it in there. One of the things I also want to do is I want to make the cage wrap tightly to the object and I do that by hitting this little apply modifier button here. So now it's stuck on the mesh. Now what I want to do here is I actually want to go in and add an extra ring of geometry here. Now normally I could hit control R and it would give me an edge loop kind of the way I want it. But the problem is that I want it in here and it's not going to add it in there because these are triangles and they don't really form a loop. So I'm going to have to use my knife tool. So I'll hit right click to get out of this. And I'll, but I also just want to select these faces. So I'm going to hit A to select none. And I'm going to use my brush. Actually, I'm going to hit Alt, right click. That selects that ring, or sorry, that loop. And then Shift, right click to get the center of it. And I have, these are the vertices I'm going to be playing with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit K to activate my knife tool and I want midpoints. And I just click and make sure my line crosses every edge at least once or every edge once. And then I hit enter and it automatically creates, creates my loop for me. Now I'm getting somewhere. I'm going to select this vertex by itself again. And if I grab along Y I get a little bit closer to what I'm looking for here. But what I want is I want to pull in the iris portion of the eye. This is going to be my pupil, this is going to be my iris, but I need to pull that in a bit more. So I need to use my proportional editing tool. Right click to get out of that and I'm going to um, turn on proportional edit. The hotkey for this is O. So if I turn that on, now if I grab this and hit Y, you see that there's a circle around it and it has a bigger influence over all of these vertices. I don't need this much influence. So I can scroll in my mouse to about what I want, which is probably going to be right around there. Uh, maybe a little bit less, about like so. And I pull that in on the eye, and that's much closer to what I want. But I'm going to pull that in a little bit further, but I'm going to turn off um, my proportional edit. And I'm just going to hit grab along Y again, and pull that a little bit deeper in. So now I have my pupil created, and I have my iris created. But unfortunately, by doing this, I've lost what would be my lens. 
The good news is I have, if I go to the side view here by pressing 3 on my numpad, I have this back of the um, sphere that I can reuse. Pretty straightforward to do. I'm going to hit Z to go to wireframe and A to deselect everything. Then I'm going to bo uh, border select these by hitting B and dragging it across. So now I've selected these back faces. And what I want to do is I want to duplicate this and I want to rotate it to the front of the uh, model. Fortunately, my 3D cursor is right where I want it to be. I can rotate using that as my center point. To do that, I change my pivot. Go down here and click 3D cursor. The other way to do this would be to hit the period button on your uh, keyboard. Now that I have that set, I need to duplicate this. So I hit Shift D and I have my duplicate. And then if I hit R immediately, it's ready to rotate. And what I want to do is I want to rotate this 180 degrees. So I'll pull it around here and I'll hold control. And you'll see down here, it's 210, uh, 180. Cool. Now I have a lens, but it's detached from the front of it. I hit Z to go back to my shaded view. What I'm going to want to do is really get this lens to be more lens-like and actually look like it's attached to the eye. To do that, I'm going to deselect everything by hitting A. Then Alt-right-click this edge loop and I'm going to drag it towards the eye. But one thing before I do that, I want to take off my cursor, uh, my pivot based on my 3D cursor. I want it to be back the way it was. I can do that by going here and saying medium point. This is also by hitting shift comma. Now if I grab this along Y, I can pull it back and it's inside of the eye a bit. So I'm going to scale it a bit to make it bigger than that and then pull it back along Y. So that was G and then S and basically I'm just doing G, S, and Y to to control how this is going to be. Now, this is kind of what I want, but I really want this to be more lens shaped. To do that, I'm going to add two more rings in here. So I'm going to keep this selected, shift select that, and have my ring here. Basically, I'm going to use a knife tool again, but I want to do multi cut, and I want two cuts. So if I do the same thing, make sure my edge cuts every line once. Once it does that, hit enter. Now I have two sets of curves. What I want to do is I want to hit A to deselect everything and then Alt right click this edge loop and I'm going to edge slide it to this far edge. And you do that by hitting Control E, Edge Slide. What this does is it moves it along the surface of the geometry, which is pretty much exactly what I want. So if I pull it down to here and then I grab it and move it along the Y axis, I get a little bit of a, a lens feeling to it by going like that. It's not enough, just enough to get it pulled off of the surface there. Not quite lens shaped though, I need to pull this out and adjust it a bit. So if I grab this, grab it along the Y axis and pull it out a bit, that's a little sharp. So I'm going to hit A, Alt right click this, and scale it out. And probably if I grab this along the Y axis, that'll help a bit. Scale that in just a touch. And it's a lot more lens shaped. All right. Well, this in a nutshell, if I hit tab and go back into object mode, this is my eye. Um, stay tuned, I'm going to put in another tutorial on really quickly after this one that actually puts some materials on this eye so that you can differentiate the iris from the pupil from the lens and move forward with that. But this is the starting of that tutorial and I uh, hope you guys got, hope everyone got something out of this and I'll see you around. Keep on blundering.